Okay, hello, my name is Ardi, and today we are going to solve practice problem 4.4 from HAPE Engineering Circuit Analysis book. And the question is, for the circuit in the figure 4.11, compute the voltage across its current source. So what they ask is to find this voltage here and this voltage here, okay? and this is the reference node so we should put the ground sign here and this means that the voltage here will be equal to zero okay maybe let's name this node as node a and this node as node b and for your information this is also not a because this is directly connected okay we have this 5 volt voltage source across node A and node B and there is no way that we can know the current that pass through this one. So we need to use super node between node A and node B. So let's just draw it here. So I have this one. This will be our super node right and i think we need to assume the direction of the current here so let's follow this arrow here so going up for this resistor i think i will have going down and for this one i will want to going down and this one i think i need to going up okay so now for this one third ohm i think i want to going to the right okay so now let's do KCL in the super node, add super node, KCL at super node. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's... Let's find out the current that goes in. This 4 is going in. This 9 is going in. So 4 plus 9. And then this current here also going in. But remember that this current is also going out. So it's going out from this current and going in at this current. So they will cancel each other. So yeah, we don't need to take account of this current. And the current that goes out will be this one here and that means that we have pa minus zero divided by the resistance between them so i will have one half here so one over two and for this one i will have plus vb minus zero divided by the resistance between them which is one over six and so I will have 13 on the left hand side and then this will become 2VA and this will become 4, I mean not 4, 6VB, 6VB, yeah I don't think we can do anything much beside moving this 13 to the right hand side. So I will have 13 and let's save this as equation number 1, okay. So we have two equations, I mean two variables, but one equation. We need one more equation. So what can we do here? Let's take a look at the super node. So we have node A and node B, and between them there is exactly 5 volt voltage source between them. So at the super node, we will have the difference between those nodes. So I will have VA minus vb that will equal to the value of the voltage source so i'll have five and this will act as equation number two so i will have a two equation and two variables so we should be able to solve them by using elimination so i'll have equation number one i will just leave it as is and for equation number two i think i want to multiply it by two Right, I want to cancel the VA. So I will have 2VA plus 6VB 
is equal to 13 and then 2 phi A minus 2 phi B will equal to 10. So let's subtract this equation. I will have what? 4 phi B. Yeah, I think we'll have 4 phi B. Oh, no, no, not 4. 6 minus minus 2, that will be 8. 8 phi B. And on the right hand side, I will have 3. So I will have phi B is equal to 3 over 8. And 3 over 8 is just 0 0.375. And for here, the unit is volt. Or we can just follow the answer key by converting it to millivolt. So I'll have 37.5 millivolt. Okay, this is for phi B. But we still need to find phi A. Right, but V A is just V B plus five. Yeah, so our V B is this one. So I will have V A will be five point three seven five four. So this is the answer for the problem. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the answer key. So I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. So hopefully it will help you. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye.